Hi guys, welcome to Shale's Kitchen, home of good food and good memories. So I just got off work and I am pretty tired and hungry. I want something good to eat, but I want something that's going to fit my bill. I want something that is going to be quick, easy, delicious, and affordable. Hopefully something inexpensive. So I was thinking, you know, I'm going to stop by Dollar Tree on the way home because they do have a food section and I've found some good stuff there before. So let's go see if we can find something that fits the bill tonight. And we have arrived. We're now at Dollar Tree. So let me step in and see what's cooking. So I think I'd like to try these meatballs. It's circle A Ranch. And we are in luck. We found some pasta sauce. They have the garlic and herb sauce. They have the meat sauce and then they have the traditional. We use Hunts all the time. It's a very good product, good quality. So here's a nice alternative. If you can't find pasta sauce, you can make your own. Here's a 35 ounce can, very large. You have the tomato puree or you have your peeled plum tomatoes. Make a nice sauce. And it is, it's got sweet basil in it. So that's gonna be nice. Just got home from work, I'm tired, and I want something quick, easy, and delicious. So we're gonna give this a try today and see how it works out. Time for another Dollar Tree product testing. Here we have a bag of Circle A Ranch homestyle meatballs that are fully cooked, made with chicken and beef. It says ready in minutes. And let's see what we have here. Each serving is about six meatballs, servings per, per container, two, 200 calories per serving. And they have two preferred heating methods, microwave and conventional oven. I have the meatballs spread out on a microwave safe plate and there are actually 13 meatballs in this package, which is really a nice quantity so that's two servings and I think this would make a nice meal given the quantity of the, of the meatballs that you get in the package. Time to put the meatballs in the microwave. So I'm going to cover with a paper towel and then let's just step over to the microwave. And I'm going to set this for one minute and then check it because we actually have pretty powerful microwave so I don't want to overcook them or overheat them I should say. Alright, it's getting close to a minute. So let's check this, see what it looks like. Oh, they look pretty good but I'm, I'm gonna do it for, I'll do it for a few more seconds. I did it for 15 more seconds. So let's see how it looks. Giving them a squeeze. They feel pretty good, so I'm gonna test it by eating one of these. I'm glad I didn't do it the whole time. This is perfect, just the way it is. And it's heated all the way through and it tastes good. I have one cup of the pasta sauce, so I'm just gonna put it in the pan. And we're gonna let that heat through. I have it on like a medium high heat right now. Now that the sauce is all heated up, I'm just going to add my meatballs to the sauce. Now let's give that a stir. I want to get all the meatballs nicely coated with the pasta sauce. It looks great and it smells really good too. 
And now I'm gonna give this a few minutes and make sure that I get like all those flavors, the meatballs with the pasta sauce all coated. It's been a couple minutes, so I'm just gonna stir this up again. And I'm going to take the heat off now because it's nice and all heated through. And if you like spicy, just sprinkle some of these red chili flakes on it. Adds a nice flavor, nice kick to the dish. And now we are in taste testing mode. I think I can eat a whole one at one time. This is a nice size meatball, I have to tell you. I hope you're seeing the accurate representation of it. That is really good. It's perfect, really. And I sprinkle the Parmesan cheese on it and also sprinkle some chopped flat leaf Italian parsley. Excellent. So if you haven't tried Dollar Tree yet for some food items, give it a try. I think you'll really love it.